hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel i am Rudon ibrahim what i'll be showing you in this video is the layer settings of the structural members you have here in product structure so when you model a particular structure such as this one you are seeing appearing on my screen um Prata structure will automatically give it a layer i mean a color okay but if you are not satisfied with the color you can actually um change that you can actually change more beyond the color of the structural member you can also change the line the edge and every necessary things that will be important when you are checking the detail drawing of the structure when you import it to Prota details so how are you going to do that let's just get into that if you look at this model you will see what we have there we have a column we have a beam we have a slab we have steel column we have um cross brace we have um we have guards we have sag rods you can see sag rod connecting the guards and then we have um we have pole line yeah we have pole line on the roof and then we also have splice in some of the uh bottom columns so when you see here you see it is just a single column but in between you see um there is a, a little bit of splice over there it is a splice of 10 mm so um we are going to change the color we have here this is the default color so what i'm just going to do is i am going to change the color to what i to what i prefer so to do that just go back to building set out then you can come to settings and then you can go to layers and color now so let's make our changes to the color of the column to change the color of the column what you should keep in mind is basically the column arch okay this one you are seeing here this is column line column line will only be necessary in Proton details when you want to see the line you know because it will be represented with a line when you transfer it to Proton details to see the detail when you want to check the detail drawing what you'll be seeing is just line so the color of the line this is what will be appearing for the color of the line so you can change all of that okay but to see it here in model what i'll just change is the column arch and then to do that just click on the color here and then you can make selection let me choose um red color and then i'll click on okay all right then uh let's go to beam this is beam so i'll change the beam arch let me change that to um blue all right then click on okay then we can go to the next one which is slab i will change the um slab let me change that to let's say yellow and then you can click on okay but you don't need to use the index color you can actually use the rgb color but you know you can just make changes here you can also use the hsl color so but i prefer the index color okay so just make sure you change the color that is what matters so i'll click on okay and then um let's see we do not have a plane what else do we have um foundation i do not have a foundation in the in the drawing so i'll just keep that but if you have a foundation you know what to change you can just change your arch all right so um what is i have steel members so my steel column let me use um a different color let me just use the rgb color here and then let me use this something like this i don't know yeah something like this then click on okay no it doesn't look good let me use index color or let me use hsl and i'll pick this one this one that looks like blue okay then i'll make it more deep so, yeah something like this yeah okay then my steel beam i'll change it from cyan then let me use um index color let me use something like this and click on okay and then um truss i don't have this truss actually i have pole line so click on pole line then let me use um, let's see i want a flashy color let's use um let's see black something like this is that black okay so click on okay and then um i have guards for my guards let me use red then okay what else do i have i have sag rod i use blue for my sag rod click on okay i have brace as well for my bracing let me use um green and then okay um cladding i have no cladding 
right so i believe this is all i have so to to activate that just click on okay all right and then you can see uh the changes so right now you see uh there is changes now you can see my my slab my slab is now yellow you can see my concrete column is now red and then you can see my beam my beam is now blue you can see the color i have for my for my guard my guard is also red you can see the color for the steel beam this is like um you know pink i think i use um hsl over there i didn't use the index color so um you can see my brace too that is green color and then you know just check it out so the color has changed you can just modify it to the color you have you know it is a beautification you can make your work look more look more better all right so if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you aren't a subscriber yet make sure you give my channel a subscription thanks for watching